All right, it's another uh, wet uh, and cool Thursday afternoon. Um, got a couple hours ago, feeling pretty good. I'm gonna answer uh, another question. Um, someone asked about the house, and you can see what we've got uh, going on there. Um, got the metal roof on about two days ago, the, the last little section of it. You can see on the left side there, it actually extends over the edge of the house about six inches. <laughs> Hopefully there won't be too much of a snow load there, but that'll help uh, keep the snow and the rain from hitting the side of the house just a little bit. And the same thing goes for the other side of the house. A um, couple inch overhang. Someone asked if the, uh, if the wood there is durable enough to withstand the weather. Well, no, it's not. Uh, the house isn't done. Um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, basically there's six layers in the walls. Um, uh, go from the inside to the outside. Inside you got uh, paneling, which is basically either plywood or actually I brought some paneling, though I'm not sure I'm going to be able to use it because it's kind of falling apart. It's pretty flimsy. But it's just a wood paneling that'll uh, hopefully be nice to look at. Um, if that is not usable, I'm just going to grab scrap wood I found down on the beach, uh, which I think was the siding of an old house or maybe the roof of an old house. But uh, if I can find enough pieces, I'll, I may piece something together there and put that up to uh, you know, be the inside wall. Um, inside of that, you've got uh, visqueen, which is just uh, bare uh, plastic wrap, uh, very thick. It's a uh, four mil plastic wrap, which is clear, um, and that'll help push the moisture, any moisture in the wall out of the house, not in. Um, then inside of that, you've got uh, the fiberglass insulation, just the pink stuff, it looks like cotton candy. Uh, it's five and a half inches thick, uh, 15 feet wide, I'm uh, sorry, 15 inches wide and about nine feet tall. Um, that should do pretty well for keeping the house pretty warm, I think. It's uh, rated at R21, which uh, should be just fine in this weather, and I don't really need it to be that warm anyway. I've got a small stove, and uh, my sleeping bag is fine, so uh, I think my dog might like it more than I, than I even need it. Uh, continuing on out through the wall, you've got the, the OSB board, and that's what you're, you're looking at right there. That's a uh, kind of a particle board. They basically take splinters and pieces of, of lumber and glue it together. Um, pretty big chunks of, of splinters um, as opposed to like particle board where it's just literally sand uh, or sawdust that they glue together. You might see that like in a kitchen cabinet or something like that or a kitchen countertop. Um, so that's OSB. Then outside of that I'm going to take um, Visqueen, I'm sorry Tyvek which is a high-tech uh, plastic wrap and wrap the entire house and I think I can do the uh, bottom floor there like from right about here all the way across and just wrap the whole house like a Christmas tree present or a Christmas present um, and that will actually help keep uh, moisture out and uh, it's some nice material I'll just staple it up there it's pretty indestructible and, and wonderful to work with so I, I really like that stuff um, then on the outside of that I'm going to go ahead and take um, uh, my 10T100 or 10T11, it's uh, just siding um, and that'll help keep the water off and uh, protect the house. Um, anyway, each layer obviously is going to add another uh, another uh, layer of uh, protection, <clears throat> should uh, cut down the wind. Right now, um, I'm not getting much wind at all. Um, there are cracks between the 